Hi guys, Troy from the Do It Yourself World Electronics. Um, looking at my laptop, the unfortunate thing about these modern day laptops is I could precisely shave from the reflection in my laptop, but I can't see what's on the laptop itself. Anyway, it is how it is. I am going to wipe out Windows and put on Linux. This is the beginning of the end of my Microsoft experience. So, and join me on my adventure into Linux and my escape from Microsoft Windows 10. The horror and the nightmares are about to end. This has taken charge of my computer one too many times and I am done. Enough. So, I have backed up all of my data and I am now going to wipe this computer and install Linux. Brand new. Wiping Windows 10 away from my nightmares forever. I can't even get rid of the nasty virus that is Microsoft. I'm trying to reboot the computer, it won't let me reboot until it's done installing its updates. I can't even shut it off and pull the power, the built-in battery in this thing. So I can't even kill it. It won't let me. Ah, I'll have to wait for Microsoft to let me have control of my computer before I can wipe it. Well, Linux is installing. And it's hard. Wow, you can really see me now. I look at the little eyebrow out of place. I can see every detail. Wow. That's the problem with these little computers. You can't even see. Well, that's a bummer. You can't see my screen. Look at that. Beautiful mirror image. It's the thing I don't like about modern laptops. Anyway, Linux is installing. And um, I have to concentrate because you can't. Can you, can you see it? Can I show you? I can't get you to see. You can see the dirt on my screen. There it is. Can you see it? Oh, there it is. Well, it's hard to see on these laptop screens. I gotta get some of a kind of an anti-glare on this. Anyway, I'm installing Linux. I'm gonna wipe Microsoft off my computer. Well guys, I got it installing. It's not the Ubuntu server I'm used to, but it's a different version. Uh, the server version wouldn't install without a wire uh, network. And this is Wi-Fi, so I'm going to have to see if I can install it later. If not, I just scrapped this computer for a while until I can get the internet working. Because this is Wi-Fi only, it has no network connector or connection. So this will be interesting if I can get this to run. Well guys, right there, I had to, I installed Ubuntu, I tried to install Ubuntu, um, Bionic Beaver 18.04, wouldn't work, so then I tried installing a different version, um, not the live server version, that installed but then I couldn't connect the internet, so now I've got Kubuntu, and the internet is working, I was despairing thinking, oh my beloved computer is dead, but now I got it working, I'm going to continue install. It is installing. Progress level, looking good. Hope it works. Wi-Fi connected, so I think it's going to work good, and it's automatically installing updates. I think I'm going to have myself a good computer. There we are. That's looking good. Now my external monitor works. Before, there was none, and I was on that tiny, tiny, tiny display, and I couldn't see a thing. Well, I'm going to log in and see how it works. There it is. Nothing fancy, but there it is, all booted up and happy. I'm going to see if I got internet. I'm going to, um, well, let's see. I'll check. Open up Firefox. Let's see what happens. I don't want to enter my email. It looks like we're on. Let's go to Amazon. We are online. I like it. Now it's time to install all my favorite necessary programs. First, I'm downloading and installing all my updates. I've got Chrome installed already, and I've got updates going on. Or Chrome is installing. I don't know where it went to. Um, I opened this up, and then I decided uh, there was 284 packages to update, so I'm doing that. And I also installed um, uh, GIMP my image editing program that I use heavily and then after that I'll get um, Skype and then Caden Live and I'm gonna 
edit this video with that because this was my video editing program or computer and in, until I get this one reinstalled with uh, Linux there is no more video editing computer in my house this is it next on the list my video editor and I have to do my password and there we have it the video editor so I'm going to edit another video that I have to finish on here as a test, but it should work. My little box worked, my little Linux box worked, so this should be fine. I bet it's going to be awesomely powerful with uh, Linux instead of Microsoft. This computer is really going to be screaming fast now. Lightweight too. I have a 110 gig hard drive and had only 57 gigs available. To myself, Microsoft took the other half of the hard drive for itself and updates. I can't wait to see what Linux uses. I'll check that in a minute. And now I'm copying my stuff from my laptop back onto my hard drive. Pretty cool. Just uh, got 57 gigs of data to back up back onto the computer. So I put it on my external hard drive and now I'm bringing it right back over. Looking good. Well, now it's a waiting game. I have, I'm copying 160 some odd thousand files from my external hard drive onto my new desktop. And when I'm done, I can edit videos. And I will be doing that as soon as that's done. So I'm gonna sign off, I have my computer working. I got all my favorite programs on here, which is great, and I'm extremely happy. I can't say how happy I am to be done with Windows. And the fact that this went so smoothly, so easily, and I've got literally all my favorite programs on here now. The only thing I didn't have exactly the same is on Windows I used Wondershare Filmora, and on Linux I used Kden Live. That's the only thing. Even my Notepad++ Notepad++ was able to come on here. Skype and everything else, Google Chrome, I'm happy. So I've got everything I need. I'm going to get to it. It's Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World Electronics. Thanks for watching, and uh, stay tuned for more exciting electronics and computer videos coming up. Talk to you later.